this question is generally asked as an objective question in the examinations in this question there is a practical DC source of 3 volt with internal resistance of 2 ohm and this DC source is connected to non-linear resistor and the characteristics of non-linear resistor is given by V non-linear equals to I non-linear square. What is the meaning of V non-linear? This is the voltage drop across the non-linear resistor. What is the meaning of I non-linear? This is the current flowing through the non-linear resistor. So we have to calculate the power dissipation in the non-linear resistor. So let me first draw the diagram. According to this question, there is a DC source of 3 volt. This DC source is having internal resistance of 2 ohm and it is connected to a non-linear resistor. This is a resistor. The characteristics of the non-linear resistor is given by V non-linear equals to I non-linear square. Suppose this is the voltage across the non-linear resistor and the current flowing through the non-linear resistor is I and L. Let the current, because the battery polarity is in this way, so the always, so the current will always flow in this clockwise direction. The current will always flow in this way. If you apply KBL, you will get 3 equals to 2 I and L plus V and L. You can put the value of the voltage drop across the nonlinear resistor which is given. You can solve this equation and you will get the current through the nonlinear resistor and you will get two currents. 1 ampere and minus 3 ampere. I have already told you that because the polarity of the battery is in this way, so the current will always circulate in this direction, in the clockwise direction. So this answer, this minus 3 ampere is wrong we will neglect this current because the current cannot flow in the anti-clockwise direction. The current will always flow in the clockwise direction. That's why, that's why we will take 1 ampere and we will neglect this value. So we have to calculate the power dissipation in the nonlinear resistor. So power dissipation in the non-linear resistor equals to voltage drop across the non-linear resistor into the current through the non-linear resistor. If you put 1 here, the voltage drop across the non-linear resistor will be 1 volt and current flowing through the non-linear resistor is 1 ampere and the power dissipation will be 1 watt. So in this way we have solved this problem. This problem is generally asked in the objective questions. Kindly remember this.